Good evening. We invite you to watch the English news on the Central Television Channel of the Nga Province. The National Assembly has agreed to pass a resolution on the 2025 law-making program, adjusting the 2024 program to review the land law and three related laws that will take effect from August 1st during the second session of the seventh meeting. The resolution said that urban review the 2024 land law, the 2023 housing law, and 2023 real estate business law contain many innovative and progressive regulations, which are expected by the public and society to create a driving force for social economic development in a new phase. With the new resolution, instead of taking effect from January 1, 2025, many important policies on land, social housing, and etc. are stipulated in the land law. Housing law and real estate business law, and law on credit institution will be considered and approved by the National Assembly from August 1, 2024, at phase two this seventh session. According to the Standing Committee of National Assembly, the early implementation of 2024 land law, 2023 housing law, and 2023 real estate business law will help resolve obstacles and inadequacies bring the new policy decided by National Assembly into life, enhance the efficiency of land management, exploitation, utilization, and promote the healthy, stable, and sustainable development of real estate market, while also posting housing development, especially social housing for workers and low-income earners. On June 9th, at a convention and event center in my province, the Department of Culture, Sport and Tourism collaborated with Provincial Yoga Federation to organize the 10th International Yoga Day of Dhamma Province 2024. Attended the program was Mr. Miran Mohan Sethi, Consul General of India in Ho Chi Minh City. Speaking at a program, Vice Chairman of Brunei Provincial Boards Committee, Nguyen Xuân Hùng, said that recently, the Brunei province focused on launching the campaign on people practice physical training and sport following the example of great alcohol and receive enthusiastic response from a large number of people at all ages, including yoga. Every year, many new yoga clubs are established with an increasing number of participants. Vice Chairman of Provincial Boards Committee requests that Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism, the Black Province Yoga Federation, actively raises people's awareness of the benefits of practicing yoga, along with preserving national cultural identity. The Vice Chairman of Provincial Board Committee also hopes that with the Medan, we continue to promote the exchange and cooperation relationship between India and Dominic, contributing to the development of comprehensive strategic partnership between Vietnam and India to the new highs. This year, International Yoga Day in Dominic Province attracted more than 1,000 yoga lovers from 33 yoga clubs inside and outside the province to attend. The program began with traditional lighting ceremony of yoga, followed by a mass yoga performance. The event truly became a festival, providing an opportunity for yoga enthusiasts in the province to connect, learn, and improve their health. Prime Minister for Amityun Sa's decision to bring two projects, including an investment project to build Green Road Forth, Ho Chi Minh City, and an investment project to expand Ho Chi Minh City Long Thanh Session under Ho Chi Minh City Long Thanh Yau Ye Expressway, into the list of key projects of the truck station industry. The addition of two projects aims to speed up project implementation progress and put into operation soon. These are two projects that play an important role in enhancing traffic connections for the Southeast region. Currently, local authorities as well as relevant units are completing procedures to soon implement these two projects for Rindro 4, Hoima City project. The Ministry of Transport and local leaders have agreed on the scale of cross session for a first phase investment. They have also agreed to propose to the competent authorities to draft a pilot resolution on special mechanisms and policies for a project to submit to the National Assembly. Regarding the expansion investment project for Ho Chi Minh City Long Thanh Section of Ho Chi Minh City Long Thanh Yau Ye Expressway, the Vietnam Expressway Corporation has studied and proposed upgrade 
and expansion options for the Ho Chi Minh City Long Time Session. For this project, the Provincial Post Committee has proposed selecting an expansion option with a scale of 10 lands. In the Prime Minister Narendra Modi was sworn in as Prime Minister for a third term in New Delhi on June 9th, officially becoming the second Prime Minister to be elected for three consecutive terms in India, following former Prime Minister Zawaharlal Nehru. The oath taking ceremony took place solemnly at the presidential palace in the center of the capital, New Delhi, along with the new Prime Minister, newly appointed ministers, and Mr. Modi's cabinet were also sworn in. Over 8,000 delegates attended the ceremony, including leaders and heads of state from countries such as Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, and Nepal. After the ceremony, officials were welcomed at a reception hosted by Indian President Draupadi Murmu, held at the presidential palace. According to Business Insider, U.S. President Joe Biden prevented Ukraine from joining the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, due to concerns about the upcoming election. Leo Leiter, an expert and a member of European Council on Foreign Relations, believes that President Biden is trying to convince the American public that the country will not become more deeply involved in Ukraine conflict. Leiter explained that Biden aims to increase his chances of re-election by limiting U.S. involvement in the war. The Business Insider article noted that President Biden's restrictions on Ukraine's efforts to join NATO are a significant blow to Ukrainian officials who have consistently demanded NATO membership following the end of the war. You have just watched the English news on the Central Television Channel of the Night Province. Goodbye and see you again.